Cecil Andrews College is a school that strives to teach its students real-world skills, 21st century skills that propel its students into the future. Through ambitious projects, students learn to look forward and see how they can positively contribute to society. This project is so exciting because the students have a purpose in a hands-on integrated STEM project in building a solar-powered recharging station using sustainable materials. They're learning about cutting-edge electronics, embedding augmented reality tags, and incorporating their design thinking while artistically expressing their Aboriginal designs on the project itself. In fact, they are building the classrooms of the future. The Solar Bench project is a student initiative to create an outdoor classroom fitted with the technology of the future. It's a project that's been designed by the students and also created by the students. It's a highly engaging project that brings together a range of subjects and skills with a framework where real competencies can be achieved. One of the key things we needed from the beginning was industry mentors. Our students wanted to excel in the project and we realised that working with electricity, we needed Western power. To design the Solar Bench project, we needed engineers. To do the Indigenous artwork and make sure it was real, we needed Indigenous mentors. We had Craig Powers from Engineering Australia to help us with the designing aspects of the initiative. Craig Powers was extremely um, important working with the students. He brought 21st century skills of collaboration, creativity, um, ensuring the students were testing their ideas and bouncing off each other to ensure that they could get the best out of the program. We had Western Power come on and we also had them working uh, alongside our students to talk about installation of electricity and solar panels with the project. So for us at Western Power, you know, we're all about making sure we make a, a better community going forward. Whenever I talk to my staff, I always talk about how we can improve every day, because if we do that, then we all benefit and ultimately our community benefits. So very strongly aligned in terms of what we're doing from a community benefit point of view. I think then this is extra special because it's all about renewables and with the solar panels uh, on top of the roof, creating that electricity for the students then to use is very similar to what we're doing at Western Power with what we call our standalone power systems and what we're using out in the broader network. Um, so to have the opportunity to be involved in that story, to be able to help out and bring our skills um, to help the students deliver a great outcome, it was just for me, it was a real no-brainer and a real win-win. When we came to visit the college, um, the college looked like a place where you could practically learn something rather than sitting just sitting in a classroom, which really spoke to me. So. Um, we were interested in providing some subject matter expertise because we've got a lot of that at Western Power um, to the school to set up a project that could be something that the students could learn from, spark some interest in, that, in our energy industry and also provide something that they could use. In like that, green button here and just sliding across. Looking in With Western Power's support, the project could begin and a core team of six students began the initial hands-on sketching and construction of the benches. But as the project took shape, the team at Cecil Andrews decided to expand it even further. Cecil Andrews saw the project as an opportunity to integrate the learning into a number of different subject areas. So while the team was building the benches, four year eight science teams were conducting experiments on solar power, using their results to work out the best layout for the bench. The 
project also created an opportunity to bring in indigenous art, a step that not only fostered student creativity, but allowed them to learn and connect with indigenous culture and history through an elder and a mentor. Kids are painting six panels on, under this uh, gazebo thingy, and the six panel that they came to an agreement, it'll be representing or painted Five. of six seasonal of the indigenous Nuna, <coughs> Wajak and Wangai nation. The entire process will be documented and available via augmented reality tags built into the bench. To do this, students created the experiences using the cutting edge mixed reality platform Vortals. Ultimately, the SolarBench project has been a highly successful program, and in the face of a global pandemic, the Cecil Andrews students have built one of the most innovative outdoor classrooms in the world. So the students have made a, uh, an innovative solar bench, which they can use as an outdoor classroom, and along the way they've, they've gained two units of competency through South East Metro TAFE, they've gained great um, in-depth knowledge on using the 21st century skills which will give them a great lead into future career prospects. You know, we are in an industry now that's being turned on its head with what's happening in the renewables and I always say to our staff that you know, if we rebuilt the network today it wouldn't look anything like the one we're actually operating and solar is playing a big part so we're actually having the opportunity to learn through a process such as this so once again for me it's a great part to be involved in. The great thing about this project is that the students are actually learning and tying this to a unit of competency and it's also sparking an interest in the energy industry. We've got entry level programs at Western Power and we, were looking, we are looking for trainees and apprentices for the future in this space and I think that Cecil Andrews team will be a key feeder for that. If we want to think big for our students then a school cannot be an island. It's the industry collaboration that keeps the skills we teach relevant. And then through real world activities, everybody wins. <laughs>